Welcome to Opal STV. I'm in Tokyo together with Masahiro Koshiba. He's the Chief Executive Officer of UMJ Japan, that is United Managers Japan. Masahiro, tell me a bit of your history and what is UMJ? Talking about my background, I've been a fund manager for since uh, 1990, when uh, Nikkei was peaked at the 38,000 levels. And uh, since then, you know, uh, Japanese equity market has on a long-term downtrend. First 10 years is actually, I was fund manager taking a uh, long only strategies. But fortunately, uh, I moved to a uh, long short areas in year 2000 and Last 13, 14 years, actually, uh, I've been on the hedge fund side and also uh, taking a long short strategy for Japanese equities. And talking about the uh, company itself, uh, United Manager Japan, actually, uh, United Manager Japan set up a sort of incubation platforms to introduce uh, local fund managers in Japan to uh, various institutional investors, not only in Japan, but also for overseas investors. First two years is actually a quite a good, we had a quite a good uh, business environment, which is actually at 2004 and 5, and we've raised 700 million in a year. But unfortunately, starting from 2006, actually a business environment deteriorated because of some scandals and also overseas investors' interest shift from Japan to the rest of the Asia. And then we lost the uh, asset quite a bit since 2006. And uh, just after Lehman shocks, actually, I thought that I should, uh, between the 2006 and the 2008, I just oversee uh, other fund managers' fund under the UMJ platforms. But because the uh, asset size for fun other fund managers on the platform declined. So for me, it's very natural to come back to uh, real fund management for me, uh, which is actually, uh, I just after Lehman Shocks, I started my own fund with uh, my personal money as uh, seed money. And since then, November 2008, actually, for the last four years, actually, I've been managing my own fund, which is called the uh, UMJ Kotoshiro Fund. So let's talk about the Kotoshiro Fund, right? Yeah. You set it up end of 2008. And when I look at the numbers, it's really an extraordinary fund because you only had one down year, which was like minus 2.75, which is much different to other Japanese hedge funds, which mm -hmm. in that year lost a lot more. Mm -hmm. So tell us more about your strategy here yep. and your risk management. My fund is actually a strategy, is actually a Japanese equity long short strategy. And I started just after Lehman Shocks, right? November 2008. And initially, because of quite a volatile market at that time, I took a very conservative stances and tried to manage a daily volatility of the portfolio within a very tight range. And which is actually between a plus 30 base point and minus 30 base point. Uh, for the first two years, actually, uh, I successfully managed uh, daily volatilities, but because I to achieve that tight volatility control, actually, I couldn't increase a gross exposure to so much, which is on average around 60 or 70 percent, which is quite a low. On top of that, actually, uh, to achieve, to control a daily volatility within plus 30 and minus 30, actually, I have to switch position size from A stocks to B stocks, B stocks, C stocks, or something like that. It's which is actually create a sort of a relatively high turnover. So looking at the first two years and the last two years, actually, I would say last three years, including uh, this year, actually, uh, first two years is actually uh, relatively low risk and 
low return profile of the risk return profile you can see. But the last three years, actually, uh, three years ago, I uh, found up uh, 12% plus, and also uh, last year up 18%, and this year is already up uh, more than 20% for the last four months. The reason is actually uh, I did uh, some minor changes in uh, strategies, and I stopped managing uh, daily volatility, tight daily volatility control uh, two years ago. After that, actually uh, looking at uh, my competence uh, for the last 23 years as a fund manager, actually uh, most important one is actually stock picking. I want to create constant monthly returns around uh, 1 to 2 percent, and uh, which, which means that actually uh, on annual basis uh, you can get uh, 12 to 24 percent. That is actually an uh, ideal number for me. And after that minor change is actually a fund started to perform in line with uh, my expectations. And I, after observing that kind of uh, positive effect, actually, I gradually increase a gross exposure from 60, 70 to current 150. And also I reduce turnovers and the combination of uh, these two minor change is actually a fund performed relatively well for the last three years and this year as you know actually after Abenomics actually market become uh, quite active. Although I didn't take uh, so much uh, market risks and my portfolio beta is kept around 0.1. So in that sense actually uh, we've already seen uh, more than 50 percent jump up in indexes in Japan and but on the other hand I just take 0.1% market risk. Right now who are the investors in your fund and recently have you been getting more interest from overseas investors? Yes actually uh, there's some big differences between before Abenomics and after Abenomics. Up until I would say uh, the end of uh, last year, actually uh, for first four years for this fund, actually uh, most of the asset is actually uh, my own money. And because of a uh, very poor business environment in Japan for uh, Japan-based hedge fund, so I didn't have uh, so much incentive to do uh, marketing my uh, portfolio to other investors. But on the other hand, uh, fortunately, I created a relatively good performance for last two years and I decided to do remarketing uh, my strategy to uh, overseas investors. Luckily, uh, just before uh, introduction of uh, Abenomics and after I did uh, some tours to uh, Swiss or uh, UK or uh, Singapore and uh, Hong Kong end of uh, last year actually uh, I started to receive some of the money from uh, Swiss based private bank or family offices some money from Singapore fund of funds and this kind of money is actually uh, uh, after December last year, on a monthly basis, actually, I'm receiving a few million each. So, at the end of last year, fund size uh, just 25 million US, but now grew to uh, 50 million with the new money plus uh, organic growth. As a hedge fund manager, how long do you think does the current market run in Japan go? Mm -hmm. Or how long do you think you can benefit from this environment? It's a quite a difficult question. Um, actually, I'm a stock picker. So to predict a future level of an index is not uh, my area. But on the other hand, looking at uh, what Mr. Abe uh, tried to do and also if you look at the fat new governor of uh, Bank of Japan, Mr. Kuroda, 
what he did, he tried to do, is actually uh, they're saying that uh, targeting a 2% inflation rate within uh, two years. And to achieve that, actually, uh, Mr. Kuroda said, I want to do whatever I can. And then, first week of April, Bank of Japan announced that they will increase uh, monetary basis. They will make it double in uh, two years from 130 trillion yen to 273 trillion yen. And also, not only buying JGB, but also they will buy uh, ETF and REIT and uh, try to influence the uh, equity market as well as the uh, property market through ETF and also uh, REIT. So I think that another two years, what will happen is actually uh, Bank of Japan will buy a JGB from banks, right? And the amount of money for buying JGB is actually quite huge. Actually, they said 50 trillion per year for the next two years. In total, 100 trillion yen. And to make a property market actually a bubble, actually, uh, probably you just need uh, 10% or 20% of 100 trillion yen. And not only for property market, but also for equity market. Actually, uh, it will have uh, probably huge impact. I don't know how much it will go in, but looking at the uh, Japanese bank's balance sheet, actually, uh, they have uh, 150 trillion yen of uh, JGB, right? But they have to sell 100 within two years to uh, Bank of Japan. So this, the 100 is actually uh, coming to their savings account, a current account, right? And they have to, they want to lend it to a uh, domestic players or uh, investors, uh, property investors, or so uh, manufacturing companies or uh, everywhere. Otherwise, uh, they cannot make money and margin for that 100 trillion is uh, quite thin. So, and also even look, uh, looking at uh, today's newspaper, Bank of Japan already forcing uh, banks to lend more money to everyone in Japan. So I think in next two years, what will happen is actually uh, more and more money coming to the market. But looking at the real market, actually uh, because of uh, declining populations and also uh, aging issues, there's not so real demand. So more, I think uh, majority of the money is going to asset side, which is actually a property market or equity market. And probably an equity market will be boosted by this kind of uh, quite big, easy monetary policy taken by Bank of Japan. That's my feeling. Talking about impact on my portfolios, actually, uh, as I said, my activities actually uh, try to find good stocks based on uh, fundamental approaches. On a day-to-day -day basis, actually, uh, I try to see uh, two or three CEO or CFO or IR guys to understand the business model of the company and also growth prospect or whether if it is uh, growing or shrinking and trying to find out the uh, real value of the companies. And then there always there will be a, a difference between the current stock market price and my view of the value of the companies, right? If value of the company is much higher than current prices, that name is going to long side. But the other way around, actually, that name is actually going to short side. And fluctuation of this deviation is actually a source of the return 
for my、uh, fund. So in that sense, actually, as I said, I'm not taking、uh, so much market risk and the beta for the portfolio is actually kept around、uh, 0.1. Although I have、uh, around a little bit more than 40% net exposures, but、uh, looking at difference in the beta for long and short, long portfolio beta is 0.6 and short portfolio beta is 0.9. So eventually,、uh, I just have very small、uh, market risks.、Uh, but on the other hand,、uh, because of Abenomics, market is actually、uh, become quite active. So, so impact for my portfolio is actually fluctuation or、uh, narrowing、uh, this gap is actually、uh, speed up by、uh, more and、uh, Quite active、uh, market conditions. That's why actually,、uh, on the normal cases, probably expected return for my fund is actually, as I said, 1 to 2 percent constant monthly return and annual base 12 to 24, right? But now, I've already seen after a v e n o m i x actually、uh, my fund already up、uh, more than 20 percent for the、uh, last four months. So that's kind of Positive effect is actually I'm having from、uh, Abenomics and new Bank of Japan's policy.